Welcome to the Physical Science Connection. Today's lesson is on balanced and unbalanced forces. Okay, so before I get into any of the explanations, let's start off with some definitions. The first one we have is balance force. And balance forces are forces that are equal forces acting on an object in opposite directions. The next is unbalanced force, and these are forces that produce a non-zero net force changing the object's motion. And then finally we have net force, which is the combined force acting on an object. Net force can also be called the sum of forces or total force. Now for the upcoming activities, I'll have two different arrows that I'll use. The blue arrow will represent the exhorted first forces, and then the orange arrow will represent the total or net force applied on an object. All right, so let's look at our first question. What happens when equal forces are exerted on opposite sides of an object? Let's look at our object here. Here we have two individuals and they're playing tug of war. Now, if you notice, neither of them are really going anywhere. Why is that? The answer to this is simple. What we have here is one individual exerting a force in this direction and then we have another individual exerting the same force in the opposite direction. Because the forces, and I can just give them, let's say 10 newtons here and 10 newtons here. Because they're applying the same force in opposite directions, we're going to have no force, no movement. Okay, because we have a net force of zero. The key here is equal and opposite. Okay, the same amount of force is being applied, but it's being applied in two different directions, which means we're not going to have a clear winner here. Question number two. What happens when unequal forces are exerted on opposite sides of an object? So let's think about that. If we're talking unequal forces, it means that one number is going to be greater than the other number. All right? We're still looking at the opposite sides of an object. So just like in our previous example, our forces are going to be going in different directions. So here we have a picture and we can look at it two different ways. We can assume for our first example that our two guys fishing here have got a big catch on the other end of this line. And let's just say that this big catch on the other end of this line is a whale. Now, who's going to win this tug of war? We have our two guys exerting a force in this direction. And then we have our whale that's exerting a greater force in the opposite direction. We're going to have motion here because we have an unbalanced force. When you have an unbalanced force, your object is going to move in the direction of the greater force. So when we look at the net force, the object, which will be our two gentlemen, I think they're going to end up getting wet, okay? Because our force from the whale is going to ensure that they get thrown into the water. Now, let's look at it in a different way. 
let's say that our fish, you know, it's, it's a little big, but it's not as big as that whale. And it's giving them such a struggle. However, because we have two gentlemen on this side that are exerting more force than our fish, it looks like in this tug of war, our fishing guys are going to win because the total force is in their favor. They're applying more force than the fish, which means that the object is going to move in the direction of the greater force. So this fish is about to have a new home on somebody's dinner plate. All right, so the key here, when you get questions like this, is to look for unequal forces and opposite sides. Unequal forces, opposite sides, means that we're dealing with unbalanced forces Okay, and whenever you have an unbalanced force, your object is going to move in the direction of the greater force. Now let's look at our third and final question. Question three says, what happens when forces are applied in the same direction on an object? Let's look at our picture here. So we have a picture in a hospital, and we have two medical professionals, and both are exerting a force. We have one person exerting a force in this direction, and we have another person exerting force in that direction. What does that mean about the net force? Because they are moving. What it means is that your object right here is going to travel in the same direction as the forces that are being applied. Okay, this is the net force. This is the combination of this force and this force on the object. Okay, so let's review quickly. Objects only move when the forces exerted are, what do you think we should put here? Did you think unbalance? If you said unbalance, you're correct. A net force of zero means that forces acting on an object are. Now keep in mind, we're talking about a net force of zero. Did you think balanced? That is correct. Okay, so remember, if your object is moving, you're dealing with unbalanced forces. If the object is still, you're dealing with balanced forces. And that's the end of today's lesson.